uh, I was raised to believe that a man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. And um, I just wanted to let the board know that as a fellow teacher of Mr. Freshwater, I stand for truth. And I wanted to, to let you know of my experiences with him. And I know you've heard a lot of, of rumors about teachers not coming out and where's the supporters. But I want to say on behalf of a lot of teachers, we really respect you a lot. You're our authority. You're, our, you're in uh, supervisors over us as, as board members. You make decisions that affect us on a regular basis. And not only us, but the students in this community. And uh, so we, re we really respect you. I at least say I, I respect you in the, in the, uh, the position that you are in. <clears throat> With that being the case, I just wanted to let you know that I've, I've spent two years uh, in this school district working here now, and, I, and I've uh, enjoyed that opportunity to, uh, to work here. But two years ago, I had the opportunity of being in Mr. Freshwater's classroom every single day of the year. And I can not only tell you that he is a great teacher, and I would probably say one of the best, if not the best, that I've ever witnessed. But two other teachers that I've talked to have been with him more than five years in his classroom on a daily basis. What concerns me the most is that what you're basing your decision on, on to terminate Mr. Freshwater, is on an incomplete, biased, and all-out lie investigation. And I have gone through, and having been a witness in the school district for two years now, and I know there's other people who have more credibility than me, I've gone through that investigation report and looked at those things, and they're incomplete beyond belief. The teachers that I said that were in there on a regular basis were, not, were never called in. I was never called in. Don't worry about me. Think about those other two teachers that were in there for five years or more that were never called in. A person, that, a student that I know very closely was in John Doe's classroom was never called in. I think that that shows how, uh, un how biased and how incomplete that investigation was. I would ask that you would seek the truth, and I think you'll hear it on August 26th. Uh, I also would like to say that you've heard this term, action speaks louder than words, or this phrase. Well, our school district says, and they've said for years, that, that, that it is about the students. That's, that's what Mount Vernon City School is about, it's the students. Your actions are speaking contrary, are contrary to what uh, you are speaking. I have heard uh, several teachers, many teachers, say that the people who would lose out the most are the students and Mr. Freshwater was terminated. Your actions are proving otherwise than what you speak, what you're speaking. And I would encourage you to, to uh, see what is it that you stand for. Are they the lies of the investigation or are they the truth? And I encourage you to take a deep look at that on August 26th and make the right decision. Thank you very much. he was dealing with. 
His advice and encouraging words turned a discouraged first-year teacher and coach into ex an excited, eager, and focused teacher and coach. To this day, John is my greatest mentor. While John's Ohio Achievement scores reflect his impact on the education of this school's students, I have been positively impacted, as well as many others in attendance tonight, as a teacher and as John's friend. The more I observed and talked to John, I quickly saw a rapport with students that most all teachers would love to have. Due to this, John rarely has behavior problems in his classes. As far as making a negative comment about a new directive from administration or another colleague, John never made one, and he will never make one. That's who John is. As a teacher, I have no problem saying that I look up to John. More importantly, I look up to John as a brother in Christ. John is the epitome of Ephesians 4 that says, Live your life worthy of the one you are called. I thank him for his great example. I'm truly blessed to be a part of this school district and the Mount Vernon community that I now proudly call home because of people like John Freshwater. While this unfortunate incident has bashed his name worldwide, I'm happy to be able to see through the muck and know the truth from those who love to mislead. Thank you. systems and was raised here in Mount Vernon. I'm also a father of four children, all being taught in public schools. I'd like to start by lending my support for the school board's decision regarding Mr. Freshwater. I'm sure it was made with great difficulty and emotion, as many of you may know him personally or be close to one of his supporters. But I implore you, set aside these emotions and stand firm on your decision as the issues at stake are greater than one man, one group, or one school. The evidence is clear that Mr. Freshwater overstepped his role egregiously as an educator of science in our public school. As a servant of the state, he was obligated to abide by the separation of church and state as debated by and set forth by our founding fathers. We, the people of all religious and sects thereof, should remind ourselves that separation of church and state is not anti-religion. It is most clearly pro-religion. History has taught us that combining church and state leads to the suppression of competing religious views and related organizations. By totally separating church and state, all religions are protected from the tyranny and allowed to flourish. It is what makes America great. <laughs> 